Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Hi, this is Saoz, IT specialist and member at Web Development. A bug bounty is a monetary reward given to ethical hackers for successfully discovering and reporting a vulnerability or bug to the application's developer. Bug bounty programs allow companies to leverage the hacker community to improve their system's security posture over time, continuously dot hackers around the world hunt bugs, and in some cases, earn full-time incomes. That's the essence of a bug bounty program. These programs are designed to harness the collective power of the global community of ethical hackers. It's a deal offered by companies, big and small, to anyone who can find and report security flaws in their systems. This open invitation encourages a wide range of participants, from seasoned professionals to enthusiastic beginners. Think of it like this. You find a weakness in a website or app. This could be anything from a minor glitch to a major security hole that could be exploited by malicious hackers. You report it to the company. The process is straightforward and often involves submitting a detailed report through a dedicated platform. In return, they reward you, usually with cash, but sometimes with swag or recognition. This benefits everyone. The rewards can vary greatly depending on the severity of the vulnerability and the company's budget. Companies can fix vulnerabilities before the bad guys exploit them. This proactive approach helps in maintaining the integrity and security of their systems. And ethical hackers, the good guys, get paid for their skills and efforts. They also gain recognition and build their reputation in the cybersecurity community. It's a win-win situation for everyone involved. The company secures its assets, and the hacker gets rewarded and acknowledged. Bug bounties have become increasingly popular in recent years. They are now seen as an essential part of a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy. They are now a standard practice for many organizations, from tech giants to government agencies. This widespread adoption highlights the effectiveness and importance of bug bounty programs in today's digital world. So, how does this whole bug bounty thing work in practice? It's pretty straightforward. Essentially, it's a way for companies to crowdsource their cybersecurity efforts by inviting ethical hackers to find and report vulnerabilities in their systems. Money isn't the hacker community's only motivation. Systems like leaderboards that credit hackers for discoveries help them build recognition. First, a company announces its bug bounty program. This is usually done through their website or a dedicated bug bounty platform. Once a hacker discovers a bug, they fill out a disclosure report that details exactly what the bug is, how it impacts the application, and what level of severity it ranks. The hacker includes key steps and details to help developers replicate and validate the bug. Once the developers review and confirm the bug, the company pays the bounty to the hacker. They lay out the rules, what systems are in scope, what vulnerabilities to look for and how much they're willing to pay. These guidelines are crucial as they set the boundaries for the ethical hackers. Next, ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, get to work. These individuals are skilled professionals who use their expertise to identify security flaws. They use their skills to test the company's systems, looking for any potential weaknesses. This can involve anything from analyzing code to running sophisticated vulnerability tests. If a hacker finds a vulnerability, they report it to the company through a designated channel. This is often done via a secure online portal to ensure the information is kept confidential. The company then verifies the vulnerability and, if it's valid, rewards the hacker. The reward can vary greatly depending on the severity of the vulnerability and the company's budget. It's important to note that ethical hackers must follow strict rules. These rules are in place to ensure that the process remains ethical and beneficial for both parties. They can't exploit vulnerabilities for personal gain or disrupt the company's services. Any malicious activity can disqualify them from receiving a reward and may have legal consequences. It's all about responsible disclosure and helping companies improve their security posture. 
By working together, companies and ethical hackers can create a safer digital environment for everyone. Not all bug bounty programs are created equal. They come in different shapes and sizes, each with its own set of characteristics. One common type is the public bug bounty program. As the name suggests, these programs are open to anyone. Companies like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft run public programs, offering substantial rewards for finding critical vulnerabilities. Then there are private bug bounty programs. These are invitation only, meaning only selected researchers can participate. Companies use private programs to test sensitive systems or work with a smaller, trusted group of hackers. Some programs focus on specific vulnerabilities, like cross-site scripting or SQL injection. Others are open to any type of vulnerability as long as it affects the company's systems. Let's look at some real-world examples of successful bug bounty programs. Google's Vulnerability Rewards program is one of the most well-known. They've paid out millions of dollars in rewards since its inception, incentivizing researchers to find and report vulnerabilities in their products. Another great example is the Bug Bounty Program run by the U.S. Department of Defense. They've had great success using bug bounties to improve the security of their systems. These programs demonstrate the effectiveness of bug bounties in identifying and mitigating security risks. They show that crowdsourcing security can be a valuable tool for organizations of all sizes. Section 5. Setting up your own bug bounty program, a step-by-step -step guide. Ready to launch your own bug bounty program? It's an exciting venture that can significantly enhance your cybersecurity posture. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. Follow these steps carefully to ensure a successful launch. Step 1. Define your objectives. This is the foundation of your program. What do you want to achieve with your program? Clearly defining your goals will guide all subsequent steps. Are you looking to find and fix critical vulnerabilities? This can prevent potential breaches and protect sensitive data. Or do you want to build relationships with security researchers? Engaging with the community can provide long-term benefits. Step 2. Determine scope. Which systems and applications will you include in your program? Be specific to avoid any confusion. Be clear about what's in scope and what's out of scope. This helps researchers focus their efforts effectively. Step 3. Set a budget. Financial planning is crucial for the sustainability of your program. How much are you willing to spend on rewards? Consider the value of the vulnerabilities being reported. Consider the severity of vulnerabilities and the potential impact on your business. Allocate funds accordingly. Step 4. Choose a platform. The right platform can streamline your program management. Will you manage your program in-house or use a third-party platform? Each option has its own set of advantages and challenges. There are pros and cons to both approaches. In-house management offers more control, while third-party platforms provide ease of use. Step 5. Launch and Promote. This is where all your planning comes to fruition. Once your program is set up, announce it to the world. Make sure to reach out to the right audience. Promote it on your website, social media, and relevant online communities. The more visibility, the better the participation. Monitor the program's progress and make adjustments as needed. Celebrate your successes and learn from any challenges. Regularly review the results and feedback to continuously improve your bug bounty program. This will ensure its long-term success. Section 6. Defining Scope and Rules of Engagement Defining the scope and rules of engagement is crucial for a successful bug bounty program. Clearly outline what systems and applications are included in the program. Specify what types of vulnerabilities are in scope. For example, you might focus on cross-site scripting, SQL injection, or remote code execution. Establish clear rules of engagement. Define what activities are permitted and prohibited during testing. This ensures that researchers understand the boundaries and can focus their efforts effectively. Section 7. Choosing the right platform. You can choose to manage your bug bounty program in-house or leverage a third-party platform. 
In-house programs offer greater control and customization but require more resources to manage. Third-party platforms provide a streamlined experience with access to a large pool of researchers. Consider your budget, technical expertise, and the scale of your program when making this decision. Section 8. Setting Bounty Rewards Setting appropriate bounty rewards is essential for attracting and motivating security researchers. Consider the severity of vulnerabilities and their potential impact on your business. Offer higher rewards for critical vulnerabilities that could lead to significant damage. Research, industry benchmarks, and competitor programs to ensure your rewards are competitive. Section 9. Managing Submissions and Communication. Establish a clear process for researchers to submit vulnerability reports. Provide a dedicated communication channel, such as a bug bounty platform or email address. Respond to submissions promptly and acknowledge receipt of valid reports. Maintain transparency throughout the process and keep researchers informed of the status of their submissions. Section 10. The importance of bug bounty programs in cybersecurity. Bug bounty programs play a vital role in today's cybersecurity landscape. They provide a proactive approach to identifying and mitigating vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. By leveraging the skills and expertise of ethical hackers, organizations can strengthen their security posture. Bug bounties foster a culture of security and encourage continuous improvement. They demonstrate a commitment to security and build trust with customers. And I want to discuss about my journey of making $1,000 from Bug Bounty Program and the lessons I learned through this journey that can help others who are starting with a goal to become a successful bug hunter. Earning my first bug bounty of $1,000 was a major milestone in my career as a hacker and security researcher. And that's exactly what drew me to the world of bug bounty programs. It's like a real-life treasure hunt. But instead of dusty maps and buried gold, we're talking about finding vulnerabilities in websites and software. My journey started simply enough. I was a curious guy with a growing fascination for the inner workings of the digital world. Like many, I spent countless hours online navigating websites and using various applications. But unlike most, I found myself increasingly intrigued by the systems behind these digital facades. How did they work? What made them tick? And more importantly, could they be fooled? I have some programming experience and want to get into bug bounties to make $500, $1,000 a month. I can put in four, five hours a day. How can I get there and how long do you think it would take? The more I learned, the more I realized the vast and often overlooked world of cybersecurity vulnerabilities. I know about Portswigger Labs and I'm thinking about studying from the Bug Bounty Bootcamp book and maybe the Web Application Hackers Handbook. But with this knowledge came a sense of responsibility. Bug Bounty income is inconsistent and bursty and it can take a while before you get your first payout for anything. However, finding some contract work at $25 per hour for 20H slash week would hit your $500 goal pretty easily, and it's probably easier to find consistency there. That's when I discovered bug bounty programs, a way to use my newfound skills for good, help companies improve their security, and maybe even make some money along the way. Now I'm gonna reveal the secrets that no one share. I have some programming experience. Web app penetration will take a lot of your time, so be ready to spend loads of it. If you want a structured learning path to bug bounty as a beginner, there are courses out there, say TCM Security provides one, HTB has one as well, CBBH. Pick your poison and just remember, learning does not stop. Maybe after that you'll find your first real bug. Depending on the program you hunt, it could pay out good enough to hit your $500 goal. Bug bounty programs are like hiring a skilled team of ethical hackers, the good guys, to test those defenses. Maybe after that you'll find your first real bug. Depending on the program you hunt, it could pay out good enough to hit your $500 goal. If you're a true beginner, you won't find anything the first few months. Most get frustrated and quit if you don't give up. You could be making 10x that in three, five years. So you hire a team of professional safe crackers to try and break in. They'll use all their tricks, tools, and expertise to find any weaknesses in your security. But instead of robbing you blind, they'll hand over a detailed report of their findings, allowing you to fix the vulnerabilities before the real criminals even know they exist. 
That's the beauty of bug bounty programs. They provide a safe and legal way for companies to identify and fix security flaws before they can be exploited. And for ethical hackers like myself, it's an opportunity to put our skills to the test, earn recognition for our work, and potentially get rewarded for our efforts. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone willingly spend their free time poking around websites looking for flaws? Well, for starters, it's intellectually stimulating. It's like solving a complex puzzle, except the stakes are much higher. Every line of code, every server request, every input field is a potential entry point, a chance to unravel the system and expose its weaknesses. But beyond the technical challenge, there's a certain thrill of the chase that comes with bug bounty hunting. It's the adrenaline rush of discovering a critical vulnerability. The satisfaction of knowing you've potentially saved a company from a major security breach. And yes, the allure of that sweet, sweet bounty. For me, it was a combination of all these factors. I was driven by the desire to learn the challenge of the hunt and the knowledge that I was making a real difference in the fight against cybercrime. Plus, let's be honest, the idea of earning some extra cash while doing something I enjoyed was definitely a bonus. Eager to embark on my bug bounty adventure, I dove headfirst into the world of online forums, vulnerability databases, and ethical hacking communities. I devoured every piece of information I could find, learning about different types of vulnerabilities, attack vectors, and testing methodologies. My first target, a small, relatively unknown e-commerce website. I figured it would be a good place to start, a low-risk environment where I could practice my skills without causing too much trouble. Armed with my newfound knowledge and a suite of open source security tools, I set to work, meticulously combing through the website's code, testing input fields and probing its defenses. Hours turned into days and days into weeks, but my efforts proved fruitless. The website, despite its apparent simplicity, held its secrets close, its defenses seemingly impenetrable. Discouraged but not defeated, I realized that bug bounty hunting wasn't going to be a walk in the park. It required patience, persistence, and a willingness to learn from my mistakes. Determined to succeed, I shifted my focus to smaller, more manageable targets, focusing on honing my skills and building my confidence.